Alright, getting all the laundry done. Got my hat drying out. I don't like that going through the dryer because that's all wrinkly. Still need to organize some tools. A project up here I'm about to do. Quick project, something I have not been able to do for a couple of months now. I've had this thing, but I needed the hydraulic crimp tool. Got the big inverter taken out now that I have the big generator. I'm going to rely on that for my bigger source of power. It'd be nice to have the uh, um, these wires. I think I figured is capable of 5,000 watts. There's only a 5... Um, the inver inverter can only use about 5,000 watts before it blows the fuse anyway. And the wires, if I wanted to go any higher, I'd need to another set of these wires. But either way, it doesn't really hardly get used. The main purpose I brought it in here was for the charger that it had and it had a 50 amp charger built into it and that fried it came in here one day some months ago um like six months ago last time i was here i just came in here as a bunch of smoke and then i realized the charger wasn't charging the inverter still worked um but yeah it's very rare that i need that much power just for the compressor uh stored the food as well here at the house, I figure if anything happens, I always run in here, get my food storage, and I don't need a store, a huge storage of food. When I go on some long trip, I'll come back and get it. And that was a lot of weight too. I, that was more. That was probably over 100 pounds of food. A couple of those boxes were at least 50 pounds. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I went through all the marker lights, caulked every single one of them, and it is bone dry up here now except for the residual moisture. Pretty much leak free, except for like the door jams, they get a little bit of water in there. The window cover is kind of falling apart. I thought I'd throw it in a storage before I do. I thought I'd just, just kind of recount my sobriety little sobriety chart here. The last drink is what the LD stands for. The first time I decided it was going to be my last drink, which I've done many, many, many times. I think my longest no drinking spell was four months. I thought I'd never stop drinking. There's a time when I wanted to die drinking. It just felt like it's what I, you know, it, it weird enough made me function. I drank for four years every day at work and I was able to hold the job and drink myself to sleep and drink coffee in the morning. So I drug, you know, drink myself into a drunken sleep and then, yeah, just kind of. Last drink was 8-2 of 2015. You can see the 8 and the 2 and the 15 are all the same color. And then it became 8 to 12, so I scratched a 1 in there because that's how long it took before I fell off the wagon. And then uh, it became 8 to 20, 15. I was broke. It was the first time things really started processing in my head. I was tired of being hungover. It was just a horrible th I just, I'm a hypochondriac, and hangovers started getting to me really bad. I started thinking there's something really wrong with me, but it's just a hangover. They just started messing with me. I couldn't handle hangovers anymore. I was tired of spending money on it. It was the first time in my life I kind of just stepped back and said, you know, why am I spending all my money on this? It's doing nothing good for me. And that was it. 8, 20, and 15 was my last drink. And it wasn't even uh, a sobriety reason why I quit drinking. It was just I wanted to cut back. Uh, my goal was to go a year. And I just kept going. It just didn't make sense to drink ever again. There's also last sugar, last nicotine, last caffeine. Mind having like a little ketchup here and there. I can have ranch. Sugar just kind of, I don't know, gives me a spike, makes my ADD 10 times worse. Um, and I just, I feel healthier not having so much sugar in my diet. And that's in my sobriety chart. Uh, the last thing is teen, that's accurate. 9, 11, and 15. The last e cig actually, it was a few days before this when I uh, quit smoking cigarettes. And I just, like, the e cigarettes are really just kind of annoying. They made my throat feel weird, and so I just stopped. Um, and then last caffeine, kind of in this, I just kind of got sober in 2015, or at least tried to. Um, yeah, last caffeine is probably accurate. Sugar was the hardest freaking thing I've ever had to try and quit. 
candy. Oh, every time I walk through that freaking candy aisle in Walmart. And I do let myself splurge every once in a while. But I regret it when I don't. I mean, it's been years since I've ate sugar on a regular basis. Like, it used to be on my shopping list of things to do is to get some sweets. Just retarded thing to do. I mean, sugar to me now is just a drug. It's a feel-good thing that I'm wasting money on. Um, but, yeah. There's things like ice cream sandwiches and fucking gummy bears. God damn. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. So that's my sobriety chart. Just wanted to share that before it goes into storage. I'll probably hang that up on my wall someday when I have a property in a shop. I'll look back and remember my struggle. But yeah. Not a drop. Not for a full three, four years, whatever it's been. Um, but I went a year and nine days before I had a couple beers. My goal was to go a full year. I went a year and nine days. I wanted to go an extra ten days. Decided on the ninth day, screw it, let's go get a couple beers. So I got a couple tall Coors Lights. Uh, felt great, I just played around on the internet for a while. Um, you know, of course it felt great as a buzz. And then the next day I got a full six pack. Drank it too quick, puked it all up. Had a hangover just enough the next day to remind me why I would never drink again and I have not touched it since. Probably a couple years now. Um, so yeah. I, uh... You know, I just, I cannot drink one beer. It's If I start drinking, I, I, when I go to a friend's house, they offer me a beer. I won't accept it unless I know there's going to be a whole bunch more beers afterwards. Or I know that I have enough money to go get drunk afterwards. Because if I start drinking, I do not like the feeling of uh, coming off it. Once I start, I just, I like to go full to the wall, drink my ass into a coma near, I've been hospitalized twice. Um, probably because of a panic attack, my first really really bad hangover caused a panic attack and I called 911 thinking I was dying mm. and there's a second time I think kind of the same reason I think a relative called so I was just laying in my own vomit basically and same thing out of the hospital they didn't do much both times they gave me an IV um, replenished my fluids and Give me a big old fat, like, multivitamin or something. I think they, she said it was potassium. Um, yeah, bad memories of, like, my rock bottoms with alcohol. It's just, I have a hard enough time as it is with insomnia and my up and down, my, you know, depression. I do deal with some pretty serious depression, so it's just best to cut it all out. Sugar, caffeine, no stimulants, no fucking alcohol, nothing. Water chicken vegetables oh, a quick project I thought I'd share with you guys these uh, sun visors never get used and uh, started taking out a couple of these screws and they're just snapping the heads off so they're just junk I mean not because of the screws but their fabrics just I don't like these things, they're gross. <laughs> Alright, make things a little easier when I need to work on this in the future. Something else I could get out of here, but I think it's kind of funny having this little mirror. It's just about useless, except for I found that it's nice for having with emergency vehicles behind you. on those threads before I put it all the way back in. I should just hold it on a little better. Well, hey everybody, it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. Probably gonna be a late Christmas by the time this gets up. Just going down my list, getting things done. Dishes have been started. Got bug bombs out to uh, hit the lower basement. There's like three sections because there's like a wall, so I'm putting three bombs down there. And airing out and all this stuff and covering. Uh, well, definitely follow the directions on these.